how Airbus quietly upgrades new aircraft all the time. Passengers boarding an A350 built last month may not notice a terribly huge difference compared to one that was built four years ago. The model number is the same, the inside and outside would look nearly identical, however an airline will know that its newer aircraft operates better on several levels such as range and takeoff weight. This is because the European aircraft manufacturer is continuously making small improvements to their aircraft without drawing much attention to it. This is what an Airbus spokesperson had to say when asked about their continuous upgrades and improvements to their aircraft. As a leading aircraft manufacturer, we're in constant dialogue with our customers in order to meet their today's and future requirements, advancing our products, keeping them at the leading edge of technology. Airbus is always looking at new concepts based on existing platforms. This is an integral part of our design philosophy, but not every study sees the light of day. We asked Airbus about improvements made to the A350. The company told us that it's come a long way in its development. Since first being delivered to launch customer Qatar Airways in 2014, the aircraft type has seen improvements to its maximum takeoff weight, or MTOW. For the A350-900, it was originally 269 tonnes, but that's been improved to 280 tonnes. The A350-1000 has also been improved, going from an MTOW of 308 tonnes to 319 tonnes. According to Liam News, Airbus discovered during A350-900 flight testing that the pressure distribution of the wing could be improved further. This required a change of the wing production tools paired with a limited flight test campaign to verify that changes don't affect other characteristics of the aircraft. This also led to an increase in the size of the aircraft's winglets. In addition to greater MTOW, increased range and better fuel consumption were benefits of the changes. We've already covered the new version of the A330neo previously. On February 28th, an updated version of this aircraft had its maiden flight, one that'll offer greater range and payload weight. In fact, this new version of the A330-900 offers an additional 9 tonnes of MTOW as well as an additional 650 nautical miles of range over its predecessor. For the record, the A330neo has only been around for three years. There was in fact a press release and a press call regarding this aircraft, so this was not a huge secret to begin with. However, it's probably not something that airlines will be including in their marketing material to potential passengers anytime soon. While these improvements may be noticed through official filings, it's not something the everyday traveller would be aware of. Of course, it would be just bad PR and marketing if Airbus didn't make a big deal about its bigger improvements. We can see this clearly with the A321LR and XLR, the latter making a huge splash at last year's Dubai Air Show. The delivery of these new versions of aircraft won't necessarily have delivery ceremonies or big media events attached to them. However, airlines will benefit greatly from the update, even if the aircraft looks exactly the same. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel, and be sure to click the notification bell.